Migraine is so much more than just a headache. And having chronic migraine is so much more than just getting a lot of headaches. The symptoms that come with chronic migraine can be pretty crazy and definitely very surprising if you have never experienced a migraine attack before, or at least not a complex migraine attack. But today I want to use an example from my own life to showcase one of the crazy symptoms of chronic migraine. I like to call it memory loops. It's different from memory loss because it kind of loops, but let's get into it. excited about using this example too because it gives you a little bit of YouTube behind the scenes and I know that's always really exciting. So these loops that my brain goes on are really weird and obviously they're very tied to memory loss. So one thing I have mentioned before, it's been a long time since I've said it, but Migraine Gen has a separate memory bank from Not Migraine Gen. So if something happens in my life and my husband asks me like, oh hey, do you remember this person's name? I'll be like, hmm. I don't know, I don't know if I remember that person. We will both say, okay, let's ask Migraine Gen later. Because if I was Migraine Gen when I met that person, then only Migraine Gen is going to remember that person's name. I think that definitely plays into this loop. Like, yes, sure, I'm going to be forgetting things mid-sentence or whatever. Or I'll forget something that happened yesterday, today. But without that forgetting step, I can't get back to the looping step where I remember again. And that's the part that I actually find very weird. We talk about confusion a lot here. The confusion, the memory loss, you're so exhausted and you're in so much pain. It's hard to think. You're going through all of these other symptoms that are making it even harder to think. So over time we picked up on that pattern, but something really, really interesting happened. We noticed that over time I was actually coming up with the same ideas sometimes. There's no way I would have figured this out on my own. I definitely needed other people's brains that have memories to point it out to me, but I have never had it happen so concretely with such a tangible example that I would be able to bring to you guys that I really haven't been able to talk about it or express it or let you guys know that you might be doing this also, and if you know that you're doing it, that you're not alone in it. I really started to notice this phenomenon when we had the babies. Every new milestone for the babies, there are new challenges and new things that I need to do as their mom to try to figure out how to best be their mom. Obviously, there's a lot to learn and a lot of strategy that goes into it. So whenever I came up with a really great idea, I would go to my husband to it. And he has needed to learn how to politely, without ticking me off too much, because sometimes it can get me a little bit volatile if we're being honest. But he'll be like, honey, I'm really sorry but you came up with this really great idea last week. I was kind of wondering why you didn't go ahead and go through with it, and I would just like, what do you mean, Alila? And it's like, Jen, why are you like this? The mood, the mood changes, I swear. It's not just pregnancy stuff, it's not because of breastfeeding, it's not that stuff, guys. When the pressure swings happen, the personality changes. You're not yourself. Anyway, <laughs> You guys are not alone. These symptoms are insane. I derailed myself. So that was happening with the babies. And yeah, I could tell you guys about those stories all day long, but let's do another drawing because something happened with YouTube and you'll be able to see exactly how robotic my mind has become in these circles that it goes in. Because this title and thumbnail that I came up with for a YouTube video twice in two different days, it was almost identical twice. And even the way that I notated it was like identical twice. Going at it with the drawings again. This is for practicing calligraphy printing so it has lines on it, but it'll do. Let me show you what I drew as these thumbnails and these titles on two separate days. Obviously, me having memory issues comes up a ton in my day-to-day -day life, even with friends. And everybody always recommends that I just write stuff down. Jen, just keep a notepad. Just leave yourself notes. And trust me, I do really try to. And this is an example of a time when having the note ahead of time really did not come in handy because the note was at my desk. And then I came up with the idea again. I thought, oh my gosh, I have to write this down. This is so good. This is exactly what I want on my title and thumbnail. And then I went and I wrote it, wrote it, wrote it, wrote it, wrote it. I went to my office desk with that new sticky note of wonderful ideas. 
and I place it on my desk right next to the original sticky note that already had that written on it. Good job. So here's what it was. I still have the original sticky notes. The second this happened, I was like, I'm telling you guys, you guys need to know. You are not alone if you do this, guys. This is, this is weird, but you're not crazy. All right, here it is. You might recognize this thumbnail if you have been on my channel in the last few weeks. It's really happening versus the second thumbnail I came up with. The second thumbnail that I drew was a little bit updated. Rather than it's really happening, I put it's happening, but I also added this emoji and myself crying. I noted crying. This was drawn after I had filmed, but before I had done the YouTube side of things. So I knew that I had cried in the video and I knew that I could get that shot. Where do you see my titles? Ah, I messed up. Okay, it was CSF leak diagnosis slash evaluation update. And for after the slashes, cause you know I usually have slashes in my titles. I was gonna put huge step forward, full speed ahead, one step closer, it's really happening. This is when I found out we were moving forward with my procedure, but I didn't know what it was yet. So it's something along those lines was what I was gonna put here. I wrote huge step forward. I had notes kind of like this written down. Huge step forward, full speed ahead, that kind of thing. The second time, I was a little bit more decisive when I came up with my title option, but it was still pretty much the same title. I did a little side note that I might want to put spinal, if that was a good keyword. I put CSF leak diagnosis story update with the two slashes. So word for word, the same thing, except for on this one, I put slash evaluation instead of just diagnosis. But what's crazy about that is I made a note about this difference the first time that I wanted to check the keywords. So I wasn't sure which word I wanted to use. And then in here, I added the word story, but it's the same thing. And I realize it's not that crazy that it's the same when it's something that's so generic, but when combined with the same thumbnail and the same after the slashes, and the fact that I thought that this was a completely novel idea and I had never thought of any of it before, that's what makes this a weird memory loop. After the slashes, I put full, period, speed, period, ahead, period. I did not end up doing exactly that as my title, but same thing. And also confirmed here, I was like iffy on it. I left question marks. So it's crazy that the stuff that I was a little bit more sure about the first time, I became more sure about the second time. It's like my brain processed more of it but I didn't remember doing any of the processing or any of the note taking or any of the coming up with it the first time at all. I mentioned earlier in the video that this can make me pretty upset sometimes. It's not just that there are mood changes that I can't help because my brain is literally being changed. It's also that these are just really hard things to deal with. So know that you're not alone. I'm going through weird memory loops too. I'm getting better at dealing with them all the time. I'm constantly adding new tips and tricks to my toolbox, but this kind of stuff does really take time and it takes practice. So give yourself grace and give your partner's family and friends grace too. This is a lot to deal with and a lot to carry. And I highly recommend going and watching 50 First Dates because if you're recognizing the symptoms in yourself, then that movie will hit a little bit differently now that you're sick. This is so embarrassing. Who is the actress in 50 First Dates? It's not Drew Barrymore, is it? It is Drew Barrymore. Okay, I thought I was nuts. In 50 First Dates, it's Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. And Drew Barrymore is in a car crash and she loses her memory. And every day she wakes up and she goes through the same thing over and over. And then there's much more to the story. But I certainly resonated with it a lot. And post becoming chronic with my migraines, it was very emotional to watch. It brought up a lot of feelings. And it's because she's on this memory loop thing. And it's because I saw that in her. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about my weird brain. See you guys next time.